Are you ready? Are right, you good? Yeah, dude, I was just in a great space mentally and having a blast skiing every day. I think I came to the realization if I wanted to achieve my goals for the season, I had to just wipe the slate clean. Jackson Hole has been a proving ground for big mountain skiers in the US since the dawn of time. <laughs> or like the early 1970s, right? and it's hard to leave your mark on the place. So many talented big mountain skiers and boarders have come through here and just put the hammer down. So I started to think to myself, okay, I've been skiing here for six years and I've gotten after it, but have I accomplished enough to say that I've reached my peak potential as a skier? So I'm thinking to myself, how can I stand out? Now I'm looking at it like a challenge. I started creating this hit list of the gnarliest, steepest, most death-defying lines around Jackson Hole. I'm like, okay, I want to ski these fast, smooth, and add a trick if possible. I even managed to put a couple lines on the list that to my knowledge have never been skied before. I wrap up the list and I'm filled with all this stoke and adrenaline for the upcoming season and I'm like, ah, like this is gonna be sick. I need to go blow off some steam. So I go link up with some friends at the bar for a couple drinks. Wow, a couple turned into 10 and I woke up the next morning with a hellacious hangover. I sit up. I'm trying to piece together my night, and my eyes come to rest on the list. Just a day before, this list had filled me with hope and like stoke for the ski season. Now, in the midst of my anxiety, this list is mocking me. So I quit drinking for the season, and I started training, and it felt great. The most interesting effect this shift had on me was in relation to my ADHD, which has been a daily struggle for me my whole life. I was accustomed to being distracted and disorganized, except for brief periods where I could hyper-focus on something like a ski line. So I thought, what if instead of just using it for a quick ski line, I was able to channel it towards my whole ski season? So the season kicked off, and little did I know, we were about to have epic conditions. It started snowing, on average, four and a half days out of the week. Temperatures stayed consistent, so we had no persistent weak layer issue. If a green light were to exist in big mountain terrain, this was it. It was just positive mindset, healthy habits, no drama, no distractions, one priority to get out there and send it. It was on, and I was ready. All right, dropping three, two, one. Oh. Ah. So I skied mini and proper but there's three gothics. You're not gonna not ski all of them. So I did. But it turns out I probably should have called it a two. So Connery Lundin, grass skiing extraordinaire, rolls into town and he's trying to get after it. Up here with Connery. First line we go for is Central Coulard. Central Coulard, baby. Yeah. Both of us used to ski race, and we wanted to ski that thing as fast as we could. And I think we both managed to do it in under a minute. We both stopped and skied away. So Veronica hits me up one day and she's like, hey, you want to go hit Old Pass Road Gap? 
and I'd heard some rumblings that maybe she's thinking about doing a double backflip. I'm like, let's do it. All of a sudden the resort is closing in a few days, but there's still a few lines on the list. It's unclear if we're gonna get another window. And if by some divine intervention, three days before the resort closed, a beautiful day of sunshine for me to send it. <laughs> for us, it's never been skied before. Daryl Miller snowboarded it, sent me a pic. He said he was just joking, but I took it seriously. I hadn't seen anyone touch the east face of Cody since I moved to Jackson. People skiing that line is definitely not something you see every day and for a good oh reason. I've never seen anyone air off the fin. It's like the devious plan to make an already burly line even more hectic. And with that, I felt like I'd accomplished what I set out to do last season. And I acquired a new mantra. We all have things that we're trying to achieve, right? Like some end goal we're striving for. But instead of focusing on the goal, if we can find motivation and purpose in the pursuit itself, then we've already achieved success. For me, the pursuit is skiing. Last season, I learned that all the things that distracted me from my pursuit were really just noise. After I tuned all that out and hyper-focused on my passion, everything else seemed to fall into place. Most of the goals on my list got checked off. There's still a few more out there though. And I'll be back this season. See you in the tram line. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be releasing my web series on here next season. I've got some locations in mind, but I'm curious, which ski areas or lines do you think I should ski? Also, do you have any favorite skiers or boarders I should try to link up with? Let me know in the comments section. Also, I'm starting this YouTube channel from scratch, so any likes or shares to help me get the word out would be greatly appreciated. All right, much love, everybody. Peace. Oh, <laughs> <sick, bro. Yeah. laughs>